Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the office for uh, Q of the Day. So, uh, as you can see, I'm wearing uh, my favorite shirt, <laughs> which uh, Modern Samurai always likes to make fun of me for wearing this shirt. But it's a good-looking shirt. It's like a pink or fuchsia or something like that. Anyhow, uh, so the Q of the Day. Uh, it really wasn't a specific Q of the Day, per se, but I was reading all the comments from, from yesterday's video. And if you didn't watch it, uh, we just go over um, the one trillion uh, bonds that have been bought up by... Uh, the federal government for uh, mortgages and for the real estate market and how that is probably going to collapse in 2021. On top of all the quantitative easing and all the different issues that are coming up, uh, you know, someone's got to pay the piper and I think it's going to come due in 2021. So I see it as not a great thing, but um, there wasn't a specific question, but it was like the sentiment or the overall uh, overarching feeling of the actual comments. And one of the comments was, well, should I take everything out and, and or should I, you know, uh, you know, dump a bunch of money in or should I just start selling off like crazy because, you know, the big, bad, you know, monstrous thing is going to happen uh, very soon. So what should I do? And the answer is, I don't know what you should do per se, because, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do. And it's the same thing that I talked about yesterday, which is I'm just going to hold and, and let it all go through. But and, you know, see what happens. But the big thing was about dollar cost averaging. And um, I, I keep getting questions about that, dollar cost average, probably because there's so many YouTube channels that tell you to, you, you must trade and you must leverage, you know, 50 to 100x and everything else. And that's fine if you want to do that and listen to those guys and everything else. But uh, I'm not that guy. I, I just am not that guy. So uh, if you want a dollar cost average and um, actually constrain some of your uh, different uh, costs that you're, you're having at, as far as what you're buying, I think now is, is like, the best time to do that. I'm going to tell you why. So here's a, here's a prime example from, from me and my screw-ups, depending on how you look at it. So I bought XRP <laughs> uh, when it was like super high, like uh, somewhere in the $280, $3 range. I know what you're, you're probably saying, ouch. Well, you're right, because it does suck. It sucks because you bought it like super high, and now it is at whatever it's at, $0.26, cents, $0.24 cents or something like that. So... Um, you know, uh, you look at that, and if I sold right now, it would be you know a pretty massive uh, loss, and that's okay because you know that's what that's what we signed up for. And actually, if I did sell it, it would be a massive loss, and I could take that on my taxes, so it wouldn't be so bad. It would just kind of suck, and I'm stubborn. And I don't like to do that. But if you if you buy at a certain price and it's super high, right, and then you have it at super low, and you believe in the project, that's that's the key thing. If you believe in the project, not like you know, like in 50 years it's going to go up because who cares about that? You're not going to be alive anyhow. Maybe for your kids, your grandkids, I suppose. But if you believe that, hey, this project is going to massively go up uh, very soon or, you know, with whatever time frame, what you really should do is start to buy even more of that same item. And not you should do that, but that's what I should do. I should, in, in all honesty, if I wanted to, you know, really come back and, and uh, you know, uh, increase my position, I should buy XRP right now. Because if I bought it at, let's say, $3, and then it goes on to $0.20, cents, well, if I buy a bunch of it at $0.20, cents, now my average cost isn't $3. My average cost is somewhere in, like, the dollar range, if I buy enough of, the, of this $0.20. Cents. So um, let's say I have 1000 at uh, at $3, right? So let me do some quick math here. 3 times 1000 3000 Okay, so I got 3000 and then I buy a bunch at like 20 cents. Let's say I buy you know, $1,000 worth of 20 cents. Well, now my average cost is gonna go down. And when XRP starts to actually get up to like that $1.20, $1.30, $1.80 range or whatever it is, uh, I can actually sell for a profit. So if you think about it like that, I mean, you can dollar cost average in right now because everything is going down. Now here's the, the problem with that. The problem with that is your own mentality, is everybody's mentality actually that, um, even even my even myself like even I look at things and I'm like should I really buy into that and it's this there's this part of our reptilian brain that's a uh, you know fight or flight and we look at things that are going down and of course we just think to ourselves I don't need I don't want to be there because that is a loser position that's not what I should do but it takes a lot of time and it doesn't just happen like that it's it's not like pro athletes, you know, I mean, some pro athletes just become, they just are fantastic and they are, you know, like just built for, for uh, that professional level. Uh, and, and most of them, 99%, they have to train and train and train. It's the same thing 
with looking at a position that's going short and saying to yourself, or not positions going short, but uh, positions that are going down in price and going, you know what? I need to buy there. I need to buy there. I need to buy there. I need to buy all the way down here because that's the best opportunity. So if you're a little bit right now on the, on the, the sidelines, um, and, and even myself, I take a look at things and I'm like, should I really buy that stuff right now? And you just have to remember, where is this market actually going? Do you think it's going to go away? Do you think this is a flash in the pan? If you do, I'm going to tell, I'll, I'll tell you advice. You should get out right now because it's going to get even more rocky. There's going to be even more violent swings. It's going to go up massively and it's going to go down massively. So if you don't really believe where things are going, it's time to hightail it. Grab some bench and get the hell out because there's no reason for really for you to be here. However, if you've been around a long uh, enough time or you just believe that this technology is going to take over and it's going to swallow the internet whole like Alex Mashinsky talks about, then this is the perfect time. This is the perfect time for you and me to buy up these assets because it is a fire sale. And people always talked about it. I remember back in 2017, 2018, it used to piss me off so bad when people would say, oh, it's a fire sale, it's a fire sale. I'm like, are we looking at the same thing? I just lost a ton of money. And the reason why I thought that way is because I dumped so much money at once and I didn't dollar cost average. Now I totally get it because I've been dollar cost averaging into everything that I've ever done and I'm, I'm up. So when you're up, you have that ability just to go, let's do this. Let's get this done. I know what I'm doing. That's it. So that's really all I got to say. So uh, tell me what you think about in the comments section below. Let's jump back.